It's a market day in Zudze, and the skies are stained with the fresh sweat of the morning dew. Like other markets, people from neighboring communities converge here to buy and sell their goods and services. But not all people who troop in come to trade. Some come for medical attention at the St. Anthony's Hospital, which now serves as the district hospital for the embryonic Ketanov Municipal Assembly. Built by the Catholic Church in 1960, the staff and people of Zodza and other beneficiary communities are forever grateful to God for such a wonderful gift. No wonder members of staff usually devote the mornings for God's grace, guidance and protection. The hospital has now developed into 15 departments. These include the medical and surgical, x-ray, laboratory, functional theater and pharmacy. And over the years, the collaborative and integral functions of these departments have brought remarkably efficient services to clients. Like I said, the staff are very, very friendly people. They're very, very friendly. Probably goes for this. For well, everybody in this town, at least I have come across at any point in time since I've been here, uh, it's a well-maintained hospital. It's what you would suppose, what you would expect to be a village hospital, but it doesn't come across as a village hospital because they have facilities you need. Um, they have the doctors, at least for the doctors to even come all the way from Holland here, that tells you a lot about it. Obviously, it's supported by um, the Catholic Church, so that also helps keep the hospital. Without the orthopedic and physiotherapy department, St. Anthony will limp, and it's indeed the hallmark of St. Anthony's Hospital. This is the orthopedic ward, so both adult males and females are admitted here. Uh, twice in a year, doctors come from Poland, that's Dr. Rompa, with his team, they come and do this surgery for them. And people all over the nation are brought here. One of the pillars of the hospital is the preventive health care department. Here, mothers are trained on family planning and how to take proper care of their babies. The immunization against childhood killer diseases is routinely carried out. Its outreach program ensures that nurses pay regular visits to neighboring villages to provide health care services to mothers who find it difficult to come to the hospital. We have a day for the surrounding villages. You go to the village and then do the same thing over there. Cases that we cannot do, we refer them to doctor for treatment like malaria and others. Though some give birth at home, these young mothers now know how to keep their children healthy. <laughs> Ayikbakle <laughs> Due to the bad nature of roads, the nurses occasionally cross streams carrying vaccines on their heads during rainy seasons. But how significant is St. Anthony's Hospital to the people of Zodza? This is the pride of Georgia, and the name St. Anthony's Hospital is almost synonymous to the word Georgia, and every citizen of this town takes pride of this hospital. Oji ama no mia mi agbanu aga kula lo joko mu bala bana nwo je mi aje a mi pa fun nto alo odole la go vijiji bala bana kuku plofu ka ka fifia nu mawo wo nwo vai kula 
From a relatively humble beginning, the hospital is now among the giants in the medical landscape of Ghana. St. Anthony's Hospital can now boast of some significant achievements. These include the acquisition of brand new vehicles including an ambulance, the renovation and expansion of the outpatient department to accommodate the exponential swell of OPD attendance as a result of a dramatic increase in health insurance. The rest the provision of a 24-hour quality service and ensuring 98% drug availability at all times, the establishment of a fuel dam and the sustenance of the foreign missions visit are major facets. Pharmacy being the heart of the hospital, uh, in terms of drug management, uh, we are, I may say we are doing our best because uh, we try running 24 hours. Yeah. In the sense that during the day we are there, in the evening too, if there is, there is a need for drugs, we actually come out to support them. At times the foes are not good, they miss them with uh, you know, crazy and all, the, uh, and at times we have problems with our engines. For some time now, we are receiving the food direct, we have our peace, so we are very happy about it. As a result of these and similar initiatives, the hospital's capacity and efficiency has increased. Multitudes of patients have received treatment and this has earned the hospital some medals. Indeed, St. Anthony's Hospital is the heart of Zodza and without it, Zodza will neither be complete nor known beyond its confines. But what accounts for these significant achievements? Management is, is a good one, I think. And that's the reason why we like to come here. Yeah. The, the, the management here is really fantastic. The uniqueness and recognition of St. Anthony's Hospital is indeed rooted in efficient and proactive managerial practices backed by total staff commitment. See, the hospital is under the management of a tripartite community made up of the medical soup, the administrator and then the nursing administrator. They form the day-to-day -day management team on site. But apart from that, we have a hospital advisory team which gives counsel to the management team from time to time. But legally, the hospital is under the authority of the bishop, Bishop Anthony Kwame Adanuti. And with him to we have a diocesan health council. This is a policy making body for the diocese. The hospital, me in a meeting, but me in a tapa, but hospital upon your unity. A toy come here while the hospital, one year or don't order dinner, hospital, a man or la cata, the donor, Jipopota. Yekpona <laughs> Right from the beginning, when, when the hospital was small and poor, the administrator <coughs> managed to uh, make the hospital looking fresh. He gives he gives it a new paint. 
the, the garden was always neat. It was a very attractive hospital for me. And always when I entered the gate, I said, wow. It all depends on management and staff collaboration. The management with the team work we do, the three people in the management. And then the, 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 the team spirit work within our, uh, I mean, with the, the, the staff has made this possible for us. From the gate down to the ward, everybody knows how to, at least, as a security man, he knows how to receive a patient warmly to the institution, get into records, everywhere you are moving, everybody is ready to render service to anybody that comes our way. With that, patients who come here feel at home. They are actually happy when they meet us as staff. They, they cannot make difference between the nurse and even the, the paramedic or the uh, maintenance unit because whoever you meet on your way to the hospital is always welcoming. So. Why can't these doctors come to Nigeria? And for, very, for many reasons. Things work here more than they work there. That's why they would choose to come here. So the challenge for us is to get things to work there well so that those kind of doctors can come to Nigeria. It's indeed prudent to ask what funds have enabled management to undertake these bold projects? Financially, we depend basically on our internally generated funds. In fact, that forms about 90% of the income of this hospital. The rest comes from some of our benefactors. Without any controversy, St. Anthony's Hospital could not have gained this remarkable feat without the specialized services it renders. Several years ago, it was, I think, in 2006, we heard of a bad accident. Some of your Ghanaian urologists have been in the north for doing operations there. And when they come back to, uh, to Accra, there was a big accident and three of them died and one of them had, had, a, had a back injury, I think. He cannot walk again. So, uh, and we heard of this and you had only a few urologists here and when three are lacking or four are lacking, so we thought there is a need for a urologist. Just by chance, uh, an old Dutch doctor who came to Ghana before, Dr. Raad, and uh, he told me that he was doing, coming to Ghana already for 10 years, going to several hospitals to do actually the same work. And he was old, he had 